Hi, I'm Dr. Ivan Pittman. Uh, I'm a consultant clinical neuropsychologist. Uh, I'm currently the clinical lead at Redford Court, which is the unit based in Liverpool belonging to the Brain Injury Rehabilitation Trust. At Redford Court, just like many of the services that are across the trust, uh, we have a full multidisciplinary team. Um, so in particular at Liverpool, uh, we have myself as a consultant. Uh, we also employ clinical psychologists and assistant psychologists. We also have two physiotherapists, a senior and a junior. We have three occupational therapists, one senior and two junior. And we also have a speech and language therapist. That allows us really to kind of provide a, a really holistic uh, neuro rehabilitation package. When you think about BERT and you think about the training it provides, you're really looking at how that training is provided from the top to the bottom. So when you look at individuals such as myself, a consultant within the service, then you're really looking at how I'm supported um, to further uh, my own uh, continual professional development, how I'm afforded to go to conferences, engage in research, spend time with my peers, thinking about how we could make sure that the rehabilitation we provide is effective. One of the things uh, that was refreshing about coming to, to work with the Brain Injury Rehabilitation Trust really was, was that ability to free myself up from, from some of those constraints that exist with it naturally within the NHS. Uh, I was afforded the opportunity to be a little bit more innovative. I was afforded the opportunity to be a, um, within bounds or within clinical governance to, to actually um, be a bit more of a, uh, an independent thinker. And uh, whilst understanding and appreciating the uh, competencies and the limits, uh, there was always the opportunity to put forward fresh ideas and, and fresh approaches, and, and that's kind of paid dividends in some of the um, th some of the developments that we've we've managed to, to achieve at Redford Court. I, I think I think one of the things that's, that's quite unique within BERT really is is the ability to recruit and retain uh, quite a wide range of, of individuals. With a, with a huge pedigree behind them. Uh, you can think about some of the research that's been presented, not just nationally within this country, but internationally, from using assistive technology to uh, pro the approaches of mindfulness, uh, not only with service users, but also with a staff group. Uh, and, and then again, just looking at the uh, range of individuals that we've had uh, engaging in research uh, partnerships with the trust and also um, leading us at a director level. So one of the things that you can see across the trust is you can see that when junior uh, members of staff join us, um, they come from the NHS and, and they may have been part of quite a large team. They may have been one of six or, or they may, may have kind of been uh, in a junior role that's quite prescribed in terms of what they have to do on a day-to-day -day basis and how they might have to deal with patients. That changes when they come to BERT. When you're a member of a team such as at Redford Court or one of the other units, you very much ha have greater autonomy in your own uh, professional abilities. That doesn't mean that you, you act completely independently and you still act under uh, supervision and you still act within clinical governance, but actually you have uh, the greater ability to flex your wings in that sense because we're not constrained within a, a hospital setting uh, all our units are very much community based and they're very much about trying to help somebody get back to their uh, everyday uh, um, life. So for example, when I think about some of our junior occupational therapy colleagues, um, they might have been quite used in doing very prescribed uh, assessments within a hospital setting, but when they come to us, they're taking people into uh, the city centre and assessing them within shops, looking at how they may handle money, how they might budget for the week, as well as looking at how they might actually shop for a day, how they might actually prepare meals for themselves. So the scope uh, of what they're looking at is much, much wider and, and actually feels uh, much closer to what actually happens in somebody's everyday life. If you're looking for challenge and if you're looking really to develop yourself uh, working within a neuropsychology arena and you're, you're really interested in uh, working beyond uh, a kind of trauma-focused uh, model and really thinking about how you can um, work to help transition people through from a, a medical inpatient uh, trauma setting such as a hospital and actually transition them through. And also you're happy to be working and supporting with families. And if you want to take on all of that and that excites you and you have the passion for that and you can know that every day is different and some of those conversations, there's highs and there's lows and, and there are tears and there's laughter, then 
I think the, the working and brain injury is certainly where you need to be going and I think you can't do better really than working in a, in a trust like we have.